Hey, how you doing? Bobby Durkins here. Tonight I'm going to preview a team I've had a lot of requests for. Now, I'll tell you some of the players that's come out of this school. Geno Smith, Mark Bulger, Adam Pac-Man Jones, Tavon Austin, even a classic like Jeff Hostetler, but the most famous player of all, Brad Paisley. Who am I talking about? Morgan Town's finest. The West Virginia Mountaineers. Now listen, I want to stop and tell you, thank you for me and these guys right here. See, back in 2012, we played y'all in the Orange Bowl. It was our first Orange Bowl since our Orange Bowl victory in 1981 over Nebraska. We won the national championship off of that, so it had a lot of meaning to us. Also, that same season we were coming off of to play y'all was our first 10-win season since like the late 80s, okay? And then that night, you dropped your Mountaineer drawers and you spewed diarrhea and everything you'd ate in the past couple of months all over us. And you beat us 70 to 33. We're sitting here to straw. They've embarrassed us. Geno Smith killed it. I mean, man, we were dead left and right. I mean, it made as much sense as one of those people who answers the phone and says, I'm not talking to you anymore. It didn't make sense. But... Coach Sweeney said, you know what, it's time we make a change at defensive coordinator. And he hired a gentleman named Brent Venables. Since that season, including that season, we won 10 games. Since then, we haven't won any less than 10 games. We have won several conference championships. We have been in the college football playoff three years in a row. Two of those years, we landed in the national championship including one national championship win. And, of course, a few years after that, we went back to the Orange Bowl and beat Ohio State. I just want you to know how much we appreciate it. Now, for you guys, you haven't done so well. You've only had one double-digit win season since then, and that was, like, the year before last. Anyway, for all of those, kind of like myself, who only knows a couple of names from West Virginia, I'm going to kind of give you the rundown. We'll jump into the season. Dana Holgerson is the coach. Uh, he's been there going into his eighth year. I'm telling you, he had you boys rocking. And now you're kind of rolling off the cliff. But hey, we'll see. We'll see. you got to start with the quarterback, Will Greer. Now, this is the offensive side of the ball. You return uh, seven starters. On the defensive side of the ball, you, you return like five. Um, you return on offense really a lot of your most important players, including four offensive linemen. I got a guy here. I might have an aneurysm saying his name. Yadne Kajusti. I don't... Uh, None of y'all waste your time trying to spell that out and tell me how to pronunciate it. I, I ain't going to get it. I ain't going to practice it. I'll forget it after tonight. Uh, Will Greer. You got to start quarterback Will Greer out of... Uh, he was at the University of Florida. Did well there. I don't know what happened. I don't really care. He's now at uh, West Virginia. Last year had one of the most gruesome <laughs> injuries towards the end of the season. I can't... I can't even think about it. I need to... Bob's got a weak stomach. I can't change poo-poo diapers either. I, I'll barf all over that baby. Baby will change itself after I throw up on him. Will Greer threw for almost 3,500 yards, 34 touchdowns, had about 12 interceptions. Didn't play like the last three games of the season. Uh, with Texas on out, big player. If he's healthy, you're in good shape. Uh, and, and a lot of your success hangs on him and this next guy, David Seals. Everybody remember that time a while back when Southern Cal offered a 7th grader a scholarship to come play quarterback for them? It was David Seals. David Seals shows up in West Virginia. He wants to play quarterback. They're not going to put him at quarterback. He goes to Juco. He accepts that he's going to be a wide receiver. Comes back to West Virginia. Had a great season last year. He had 60 receptions for 980 yards. And 18 touchdowns. So 30% of his touches were touchdowns. He's 6'4", he's big, this guy's going to play on Sundays. A name that kind of falls under him because you hear so much about Seals and everything, Gary Jennings. Almost had 100 receptions for right out 1,100 yards. Big time player. Also got an explosive guy named Marcus Sims. Good kick returner. Now they're hanging their hat on this running back. He's a, like a redshirt freshman. His name's Alex Sinfield. Alex Sinfield's got a lot of talent. Keep my eye on that youngin. On the defense, you only return five starters. But do y'all even really play defense there? I mean, I don't think so. I mean, but anyway, just go look at your scores. You'll say, uh, though I'm offended, that redneck's right. Uh, you got Ezekiel Rose, defensive end. For all y'all, this kid's like 280 pounds. 
he runs like a much smaller man, which is a very dangerous thing. Uh, you got a middle linebacker or a linebacker, David Long. David Long is a very dangerous young man. And then we got a man, one of my favorite things, a hyphenated name, Drayvon Askew Henry. I'm going to get me one of those hyphenated names, or the thirds or the fourteenths or the seniors or whatever. Uh, but anyway, so your season last year, you went seven and six. It was up and down. It is what it is. You ended up losing to Utah in the heart of Dallas Bowls, one of the many useless bowls we have now. I mean, still the toilet bowl is better. So let's talk about your season. For all of you people out there, your SEC homers, your ACC homers, at the end of the day, it's kind of like that woman who walks around with that TGIF. I seen this the other day. Uh, Thank God I'm fabulous. Well, Ma'am, the verdict's still out on that. And then after I met her, she's a bold-faced liar. That was a lie from hell. I'm just telling you right now. But anyway, I'm just going to hit. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you right now. Uh, uh, West Virginia, West Virginia, you are. You're, you've got a tough schedule. Let's start with this. You're going. You're going to be playing in Charlotte against Tennessee. Now Tennessee, Tennessee. I know they're held together with duct tape, prayers, and a touch of embarrassment. But Jeremy Pruitt's been plugging a lot of those holes up there with JUCO talent and good JUCO talent and good transfer talent. I mean, he, he really is. You say, well, that's, that's, that's just for right now. Yeah, it's a very smart move. I still think you're going to beat them, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, I think that you're going to go, that you're going to beat them. If it especially gets in the shootout, you guys are going to win it. You have a lot of talent. You guys know the system. Next game, Youngstown State. Let me go ahead and tell you, when I'm laying on my deathbed, I'll think about all the breaths I wasted in my life. And I wish that I would have had it back about Youngstown State, so I ain't going to waste anymore. You're going to beat them. Next game, you're at NC State. I just I just did a preview of this team, literally. A little bad blood, a touch from this past season between us, and especially their coach, because he, he'll accuse you of cheating. Don't, he, don't you let him see a pager over there or a laptop or whatever. He'll think the reason that he lost was because you're over there, I don't know, asking Google how to beat him. But it ain't. Um, but... Uh, Oh, they're going to get their tails chapped for that when they come to Death Valley. But back to you guys. You're going to be at NC State. They lost a lot. They lost most of their defense. Two of the most uh, talented players on their offense, Hines and uh, uh, Samuel, uh, you're going to uh, – you're they're going to miss them. You're going to – I think you're going to beat them. Uh, but And I will tell you this. If you play around with them, you might lose. But I think with your experience and what you're returning, what they've lost – uh, it plays in your favor. You're going to beat them. Now I'll play Kansas State. Ah, oh, Manhattan, Kansas. Oh, I could go on and out. You're going to beat them. You're at Texas Tech. Let's talk about Texas Tech. Their coach has probably one of the best hairdos in college football. And if he doesn't win anymore, they're going to find a new hairdo. And I think you're going to help them. I think you're going to beat Texas Tech. Then you play Kansas. Oh, 2010, don't we remember what they were doing to people? And then pff, they're the embarrassment. You're going to beat Kansas. Then you're at Iowa State. I would worry about this game. I don't think you're going to lose it. I think you should maybe lose some sleep over it. But you're going to win that game. You're off on October the 20th. Then you're going to play the good Christian boys from Baylor. They never cover up anything or do anything, harm a fly, or improperly treat a woman. Never, ever. Uh, don't trust your mama with them. Uh, you're going to beat Baylor. And then this four-game stretch is where you've got major problems. You're at Texas. You're, Tom, uh, you're not beating Tom Herman. Not right now. I think he's pissed about how last season went. He's had a lot of good uh, recruiting go on. I think you have the talent to contend and to beat them. I just think it's at Texas. You're going you're gonna to lose that ball game. Then you're going to play Texas Christian at home. Be very careful. You never know which Texas Christian team you're going to get. If it starts off, that team's pretty hot. They come to play y'all. It could be a problem. But I've got a weird feeling y'all are going to beat them. So there you go. You're at Oklahoma State. I know they lost a lot. But Mike Gundy still got that horrible hair. And he and his horrible hair are going to think up a significant plan to beat you. And they are. Then you're playing Oklahoma. You're not going to beat Oklahoma. I'm just sorry. You're just not. Could you contend with them? Now, if y'all get on fire, your defense figure out something, which that's a far stretch, uh, just for the entire conference, uh, you could beat them. But I think you're going to lose three games, possibly lose that TCU game. Games I'd watch, Tennessee and NC State. That's the games in Iowa State. I'd watch those, but I believe you're going to lose Texas, Oklahoma State, and Oklahoma. Well, hey, listen, everybody follow me on uh, um, Instagram at the Bobby Durkins or on Twitter at 
B. Durkins. Yeah, at B. Durkins. Well, remember, everyone, I, um, I have that infamous saying. I'm Bobby Durkins. I'm right, and if you disagree with me, you're wrong, Bobby Durkins.